What do you say, son? Hey, Dad. Oh. That jerk Lowell didn't really take your job, did he? Yeah, it seems like there's nothing anybody can do about it. God, it sucks. Yeah, it does. But one good thing came out of it. I don't have to go to work anymore. You're on winter break, so we say we uh, have some lunch together. Not really that hungry, Dad. Ah, I see. It's girl trouble, right? Sad. Girl trouble? Did you, did you really just say that? Is it destiny? It isn't anybody because there's no girl to have trouble with, okay? Mm. So, yeah, got to be Danny then. You know what? Sometimes I hate that you're a cop. Well, then today's your lucky day because I'm not a cop anymore. He wants a cop. Well, always, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, everything that's been going on, I, I forgot that Danny left town. It seemed like you two were uh, getting pretty tight, weren't you? Yeah, we always hung out. We were getting tight. Hmm. You really miss him? Dad, I can't believe I'm about to tell you this. What is it? I kissed Dan... All right, she kissed... We kissed, and now... I just can't stop thinking about it. It's you! Uh, kissing somebody. That can really kick your feelings for a minute on high gear. Is that what happened with you and Mom? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, we were doing just fine as friends, and, you know, you know that, that was cool and everything. And then she says she's leaving Landview, and then we were kissing, and everything changed. That'll happen. I mean, the bad thing is, is that she hates Star's dad so much that she left Landview, and she made it sound like she's never coming back again. Oh, my God. Danny kept saying that Taya was going to take her away, but... I mean, I knew I'd miss her, but this is like... I know. It's like linebacker sitting on your chest. You, know, you can't get a good breath. Yep. Yeah, we've all been there, son. Is this how you felt when Mom married Uncle Clint? Pretty much. Yep. I'm sorry, Dad. If I would have known that this is how you felt, I would have never have given you such a hard time. No, no, you had your own set of problems. <laughs> yeah, but at least Mom didn't leave. You guys had another chance. Well, I want you to remember this. If this thing with you and Danny, if it's real, then you're going to have another chance, too. You guys... I don't even know how to reach Danielle. I don't know her real well. But I've seen the two of you together, and I bet that when the time is right, she's going to want to let you know where she is. Thanks, bud. Bro, look at you. You're all vertical. Oh, man. Destiny must be all over you. You guys are still together, right? No. What are you talking about? What happened? She was crazy about you. Oh, fine. Don't tell me. Your big brother, who paid your legal fees so you could sue for the right to walk again. I met someone else. All right, two minutes out of the chair and... And she left town. Oh. Happens to the best of us, mon frere. Hey, look at it this way. Now you can run after her, huh? What can we do for you, David? Oh, Pa. I'm really sorry to hear that uh, Dorian gave you the heave-ho, you know, job-wise. I swung by creme brulee. I wanted to give her a piece of my mind. She's not there. Well, thanks, son, but I don't want you to, to go and badger Dorian on my... You know what? On second thought... Say no more, Pa. Say no more. I will find Dorian, and by golly, I will force her to give you your job back. I doubt you'll be able to do that. Oh, I have to. I need you to arrest somebody for me. Oh, I hate to ask. <clears throat> Who? The name is Ford. Robert Ford. Poor Matthew, huh? He gets his legs back just in time to have his heart stopped. I guess you've got to be pretty happy that he can pee standing up again. <coughs> David. 
You wanted me to, uh, to arrest someone for you? I totally do. Robert Ford stole my name, he stole my reality show, and worst of all, he recast me. No. Yes. And now he's got the show up on the internet, he's raking it in, and the guy he recast me with is a total nerd loser. Okay. Here's the thing. You don't need a cop. What you need is a lawyer. But... Uh, hi. Well, if it isn't, stepmommy dearest. I'm not your stepmother. Matter of time. Nora, as my lawyer, will you please tell me how much prison time the man who broke this contract will receive? You... Robert Ford stole my identity. I demand justice. Oh, David, don't talk to me about justice. Why, what happened? Oh, Clint, he just tried to sue me for $42 million in damages. Oh, he's really mad. Why didn't you call me? Oh, it was fine. I'd left my way out of it. I told him I would sell Ace's house out from underneath him and his little gold-digging girlfriend. You know she's moved in there? She's living with him? Oh, yes. Kim's got Clint thinking that she's Christmas and Cleopatra all rolled into one. I'm telling you, she's going to go through your father's money so fast, Clint won't have a chance to change his PIN number. My inheritance? Who is this bimbo? The girl's got dollar signs in her eyes, Bo. I'm telling you. You just wait. Miss Kimberly Andrews is going to be the next Mrs. Clint Buchanan. Uh, did you say Kimberly Andrews? Oh, God, don't tell me you know her. No. I have to go. I'm sorry about your job. Hey, little bro, uh, in the immortal words of Roxanne Balsam, you got to get back on the hearse. She meant horse. What was that about? Ah, uh, Matthew's a little bummed. About what? Danny. I should have made Clint move out anyway. He and his little gold-digging girlfriend moved out, then Matthew and I could move in. Mm. And invite friends. <laughs> I know, dude. This is nuts. Living in separate hotel rooms. Do you realize that... we haven't... <laughs> oh, I'm well aware of that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're living in two separate hotel rooms. Out of respect for Clint, you know. We stupid. Not anymore. I want to be with you. I want to be with you, too. But I want to do it the right way. The right way? Yeah. I want the three of us to make a home together. So, what do you think, Red? You want to find a nice little place to live with your unemployed boyfriend? I mean, I'd live with you in a teepee if I had to.